For next up, please welcome the second speaker from the opposition team. You are invited to do your rebuttal and the constructive speech. Reminding you again, you have only four minutes. Pen, the and the flow is yours. The Probstin team mentioned that participating in the voluntary programs can improve young people's skills and professionalism. In contrast, you need to know that it's still inequality of access that not all young people can participate because according to UNDP published on 12 August 2021 shows that the population of young people in Cambodia is around 65.3%, about 11 million of young people. And SIGEM and PARAGEM are held every 10 years once, not happen every day. In addition, STEM program also provided by school education too, ladies and gentlemen. To begin my speech, I am Sadeem Sotiri. I would like to pay my heart respects to Chair of the Ceremony and all participants here. A very good morning. I am the second speaker from the opposite team. I would like to present my second argument, which is school education is a significant factor to improve young people's skills. Dear audience, does education play an important role in the human resources development? Yes. Well, education has to be in conjunction between the theory and practice in order to improve professional and 21st century skills for young people. That's based on two sub-arguments. Firstly, theoretical education. This education provides knowledge, understanding, and foundation. That's why the Ministry of Education Youth and Sport has set up schools at all levels to respond to the Royal Government Pentagon's Strategy Phase 1 published on 24 August 2023 by providing young people to improve quality professional and 21st century skills. According to the Ministry of Education Youth and Sport published on 23rd December 2022 has announced the result of the Redwell National Exam in 2022 with 90,950 students per exam equivalent to 72.33%. Moreover, based on UNESCO published on 23rd March 2023 shows that in Cambodia, basic education equivalency program is called BIP. It's the only program in Cambodia that is recognized by the Ministry of Labor Educational Training, Ministry of Education, Youth and Sports, and UNESCO to ensure that all Cambodian youth especially those from this urban tech background, and our school youths can access to technical, vocational education and training teammates, design jobs, and skills development opportunities. Secondly, practical education. It is a way to get knowledge and skills through real life tasks. Dear audience, at Belty International University on 6 July 2023, His Excellency Dr. Rechan Thun, Vice President of Belty International University, led 41 students who are studying in the Faculty of Civil Aviation to have the field trip by Cambria Angkor Air to Siem Reap International Airport. It was organized for the purpose of allowing students to get in-depth, theoretical and practical views of taking and out security process and carbon crew briefing we got the essential factor for aviation industry. In addition, at Bell T International School on Edwin 12, August 2023, was, was celebrated the second step Expo 2023, was presided over by His Excellency Lee Bun Chai, Deputy General Director of Bell T Group, and Chairman of the Branch Management Committee, with the participation of 64 groups, equivalent to 382 students, it provides students to explore their interests and talents by offering a collective categories such as infernal contraptions, intelligent and behavior, science fiction, the living world, reverse engineering and invention, the physical universe, robotics and computation. In conclusion, school education, which includes theoretical and practical application, is still the first priority to improve young people's skills and professionalism. Thank you. Thank you. The second speaker from the opposition team.